Let me tell you something, you don't let anything, nothing, come between us. Greek mythology, the titans were greater even than the gods. They ruled their universe with absolute power. Well, that football field out there tonight, that's our universe. Let's rule it like titans. And remember the Titans, we always wanted Denzel. It was our first choice, it was our last choice. He's as good as they get. And this character, he was, he was perfect for. He really wasn't sure he wanted to play under a true life character uh, because he just finished playing one in Hurricane. But when he met the real Herman Boone, he realized how he could play the part and what he could add to it. I was impressed with Coach Boone as a man, as a former coach, and as a, as a father when I went to visit them at their home. Where's your dad? Denzel called my house. I said, hey, man, why don't you find somebody else to talk to? He said, no, 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 I'm really Denzel. I said, sure you are, you know? Water makes you weak. Water is for washing blood off that uniform, and you don't get no blood on my uniform. Boy, you must be outside your mind. So I listened very intently, and it sounded like Denzel. I said, okay, well, you know, you can come on over. Well, Herman would be the first to tell you he's a dictator. He said that when he dies, he has it in his will, that the last day he's on this earth, in the casket, that they play Frank Sinatra's My Way the entire day. So that's how he coaches, that's who he is. He, it's gonna be done his way. I'm a screamer, I'm a hugger, I'm a kick you in the butt type of guy. Whatever Vince Lombardi was, you can triple that. They the head as mean as, mean as anything. like he going, meaner than a junkyard dog. Huh? That other team is out there, they're tired. Fourth quarter. I wrote this with Denzel in mind because Herman has to be a bastard, but he's got to be a lovable bastard, so there's a very fine line. And Denzel is always likable in all his movies, and no matter how bad the character is he, he might be playing, people like him, so he can get away with more. He can get away with screaming at a player. Give me the football. What is wrong with you? Why are you fumbling my football? My blockers were built, Your sir. blockers? Your blockers ain't got nothing to do with you holding the ball. Well, having spent time with Herman and, and seeing how he operates, I just knew from the time I hit the field, I had to take charge. Fish. Yeah, All right, Blow fish. your whistle. All right, yes, sir, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready to work. I'm looking for some men out here. I'm looking for some men out here. I said, I'm not going to let them see me and scratching my head, acting like I don't know what I'm doing, even if I am scratching my head and not knowing what I'm doing. But I'll at least act like I'm in charge. And they seem to respond to that. And, and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I enjoy sort of getting the troops together and inspiring them and getting them energized. Denzel's the consummate professional. He creates his own reality around him. So if you're in a scene with a bunch of extras, Denzel will make sure that everybody around him is providing an atmosphere that feels real and exciting. The actors really wanted to try to become football players, you know, and there were some guys out of Auburn and Tennessee and Alabama and some ex-pros, and for me it was like taking over the Cowboys and being the coach for a couple of days and knowing you're going to win no matter what. So it, it was just fun for me. Are we ever going to quit? No! We want some more! We want some more! We want some more! You know, I played in high school and college, so I know a little bit about it. And then when I had kids, I started coaching from the time my son turned five until until the other day. <laughs> Actually, he's still almost 16, but I'm still coaching a little bit. So it, it really wasn't a stretch for me. But off the football field, uh, my wife says, I'm, and my kids say I'm a teddy bear. And when nobody's looking, I might even kiss you in the forehead. As a matter of fact, I tried to kiss a kid in the forehead one time, he lowered his head and knocked my tooth out. He had so many sons, you know, in a sense, out there on the football field. And he really loves them, and, and he may have been tough on them and crazy and all of that, but it was out of love. <clears throat> I got a C-plus average coach. I'm going to college. Fantastic. I could see right away he's a real family man and one of his daughters just happened to be coming in from Detroit the, the day I was there. <laughs> you know, but it was sweet. They loved their, their father dearly and that's what I saw and I could see the love in his wife's eyes and I could see the love in his eyes for her. Denzel becomes the character. I mean, he assumes who that person is once he creates him. Uh, he had some help on this one because it's a real individual. But, you know, Denzel worked very hard on the script and spent a lot of time, weeks on end, going through it. 
uh, embellishing it, making it better, uh, lifting things he felt the character wasn't going to do. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! He brought so much other than just his acting, which you expect him to bring. Uh, he brought uh, his story sense and his character sense and, and really helped us develop the screenplay into what it turned out to be. That's interesting. The acid test always is what the real person thinks after he sees the movie. I just witnessed a scene down there that happened and I just had flashbacks and tears almost came to my eyes. So it's an authentic film. Hey, 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 goodbye. Out of all of the stories in this country or in this world that possibly could have been told, you guys picked this particular one. What did I do that deserves the greatest actor and the world to play my name, to play my life. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time and I've been proud to have been there. Uh, it's an experience that I'll never forget and the world won't ever let me forget. Denzel's getting great accolades for his acting in this particular movie. That thrills me more than anything else.